What's up, folks? How you doing? Thought I'd introduce you to my new bike. I just got it. Uh, I got it on Memorial Day, but I've you know I've been gone for a while, so I haven't been able to do an actual review on it. So I've ridden it for about 150 miles now and put some seat time in it. So I've I've gotten some uh, ideas on the strengths and weaknesses and everything. So let me go ahead and introduce you to my 2023 Road Glide Standard. Like I said, I got this on Memorial Day, so it's pretty new to me. It's new. It's brand new anyway. It's got 100 and like 143 miles on some of that. But uh, I got this because, well, to be honest, first thing is you know I got a good deal on it. Second thing is I kind of like all the chrome stuff on it. I'm not necessarily the much the most old school person, but at the same time, everybody else and their brother has a has a bike with uh, everything all blacked out and whatnot, so I kind of like the fact it's a little different. But anyway, so I paid pretty a pretty good price for it. I got let's see. Song, if you're looking for fireworks tomorrow, I'd say you're in luck. I'm glad that's on a commercial and not a an actual. I'll take that back. It's had 167 miles on it, but. So, it's got all the good stuff that I need, especially the radio system, that's important to me. I just wiped this thing down, it's starting to rain out here. Hopefully the wind will pick up, or the wind won't pick up too bad. But, I'm noticing my seat time so far, one of the biggest issues I have is getting cramped up. So I bought these, I bought these uh, highway pegs, and they've solved that issue pretty well. So... If you're a taller rider, that's probably going to be your first upgrade on a on a bike. I'm planning on getting lower fairings, uh, not a taller windshield, taller handlebars. These things are really wide. It makes it hard to do a full lock. Cause, I mean, you see where it goes on full lock, so that's not exactly conducive to making U-turns and whatnot. I want to get a tour pack, you know, which is the big box on the back. What not? That's just a stick for my answer 360. Um, I think I'll keep the saddlebags the way they are. I don't have the I don't have the special saddlebags. I have the curved stuff that goes around the pipes, and I don't care about that. Saddlebags are nice and big. They come off pretty easy with these. So everything works pretty good. It's got plenty of power. This one's got the 107 engine in it. You know, and I could have got the 114, but that would have been a whole lot more money but the 107 has got plenty of power for me i'm not out there drag racing and whatnot i don't care for that i might do some engine upgrades later on but not not right now but overall it's a good bike and it feels great i mean i i've ridden a couple of road glides before one i rode one out in utah and i rode one from a dealership and test road one in the dealership here and uh i didn't necessarily like the one out in utah something there wasn't something something wasn't right with that bike but whatever this one when i got on it i didn't test ride this before i bought it because i'd already been on them i know i know what to expect but honestly when i let the clutch out the clutch is perfect for me because i like a a full throw clutch where it starts grabbing real close in and uh set up perfect it's like i've been riding this bike for years you know, I could whip this thing around. I never felt that comfortable on my FTR. My FTR was kind of a, it was kind of a odd bike. And I just never, I just never felt very comfortable with it. I rode it, you know, quite a bit, but I've ridden this a fraction of the time that I rode that thing. And, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely a lot nicer of a ride. The seat's fairly comfortable, but before I put the highway pegs on, the you know it would it would I would get cramped up, and I was actually starting to get cramped up in my thighs and my legs and my knees and whatnot. So, you know, it's more so the the seating position versus the uh, the seat itself. So, the stock seat's pretty comfortable. I might get an upgrade. I'm thinking about getting a saddleman seat later on, but these are all things that are way down the line right now. I don't have the I'm not in the financial position to be able to 
go dumping thousands of dollars into upgrades but overall this is pretty decent and what i've been thinking about over over the last uh you know month or so since i bought this is uh why i bought it i mean i had an indian i had that scooter that i had that bergman i traded both of those in on this and that was some gnarly lightning that just went streaking across the sky that was crazy anyway um i had some you know those are nice but the thing about japanese bikes and even even indian is that basically once you buy it you better like it because there's not a whole lot that you can do with it with this bike and with most harleys everything can be changed upgraded personalized or whatever so if i don't like something it can be it can be changed you know Indian has that to a certain degree with certain things like sissy bars and highway pegs and whatnot, but you can't you can't get saddlebags for an Indian that I know of, at least not off of Amazon, I know that. Um, you know, so a lot of this stuff that's on here is completely customizable and whatnot. So if there's something about a Harley that you don't like when you ride it, it can be fixed to fit you versus if there's something about say a Jixer that you don't like, well, guess what? You're just gonna have to deal with it. You have to learn how to deal with it and that's all there is to it. And so those are some of the benefits of buying a Harley. You know, I used to clown on Harleys a long time ago. I hated the riders because they would never wave at us. You know, when I was riding sport bikes and sport tours and stuff like that. You know, and I still don't understand that attitude because I still wave at people. I'll even wave at somebody on a, on a, uh, whatever that little three wheel car thing is. But, uh, you know, so I wave at people because I'm, I'm just generally friendly and whatnot. But, you know, a lot of these Harley guys got attitudes and whatnot and they don't want to, they don't want to wave. So that gave, that gives people who are in a, on different bikes a little bit of a, a sour opinion of them, but overall i found the experience pretty damn nice you know i think that uh i think that the japanese manufacturers especially can learn a lot from the american manufacturers because that's another thing about a harley you can go into you can go into a dealership and test ride a harley you can do that with indian you can do that with triumph i don't know about bmw or any of the other you know moto guzzi or any of that but i do know that very 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 few Japanese bike sellers in this country will allow you to test ride a bike and maybe that has to do with some of the people who ride those bikes stealing them or whatever or insurance or whatever but it kind of sucks to buy something that you never test rode and then you get out two days later you're like god I wish I hadn't bought this bike but you're stuck with it can't take it back you know they won't buy them back they won't do nothing for you so you're stuck with it so you go out, you buy that R1 that you thought was so nice and cool and all that, and then you find out it, it breaks your back and you're, you're sick of leaning over, leaning forward, riding the thing, you know, short of putting like standard handlebars on there. There's not, a much you, there's not much you can do about it. You know, then you figure out that you gotta get a backpack to wear to carry anything with. You know, you gotta put your registration under the seat and all that, and that sucks, and it just sucks. The overall experience sucks. You know, I did my days on sport bikes and believe me, it sucks. You know, it's fun for, you know, to think you're all cool and all, but guess what? You're not impressing nobody. Riding a motorcycle should be about, about you, about what you want, about what makes you happy, makes, you know, makes you giggle when you, when you hit and you twist the throttle or whatever, or just whatever your, your personal enjoyment of riding. But we get sold on this idea that we're going to be some chick magnet riding a race rocket and you know we're going to be so cool and guess what we ain't cool me i'm just a fat dude on a bike but i don't care what anybody else thinks of my bike i care what i think of it and what i think of this bike is that this might possibly be one of the last bikes i ever buy you know i well maybe not i mean i'm only 46 so i'm not like you know I'm not like out to, out to the pasture just yet, but you know, this is not, this is something I'm gonna keep for quite a while and I'm gonna enjoy it for quite a while. And you know what, if I start to not enjoy it, I can do things to it and maybe you know, change it up and make it a little bit more 
comfortable for me or work better for me or whatever. So that to me is the, is the benefit of owning one of these. So, but I predict this is probably gonna be one of the last years that we see this actual body style. They just came out with the CVO and the CVO they've copied, you know, the CVO Road Glide, they've copied the Indian style, which I like. I really do like that. Um, so that's probably what's going to what's going to come in the future. Maybe not next year, but the, maybe the year after, whatever. Because typically CVOs are like a test bed for what Harley's going to do for their standard bikes and their specials and stuff like that. So you know, but I think this bike looks pretty dang nice. I, I think it's a it's a good looking bike. It's a good looking. It's a good mix between chrome and black. It's not. It's not overly one way or the other, and uh, I'm quite happy with it. I don't know if I'll ever do any wheel replacements or, you know, like I said, I probably, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change the saddle bags because I just don't see the point. It, you know, a little bit of extra styling doesn't, doesn't benefit me in any way. These things are functional more so than for looks. I mean, it's got a nice big open area here, so, um, I believe I'd be able to carry probably a couple of two liters in there, maybe three, you know, and have a good amount of other stuff. You know, it's good for the beach. I mean, you can see the depth in this one. It's a little bit, it's, it's emptier, but, uh, you know, it's got a good, it's got a good amount of space on it. But I still want to get the tour pack. I don't want to get the King tour pack so I can fit my helmet in the, in the tour pack. You know, that's obviously not something I want to do every day, but it's already got the brackets on it for that. So it's pretty easy to upgrade. Just don't have any lights on it. And that's something else I'll probably get some lights and whatnot, but I want to get the lower fairings, put some lights down there, you know, put some more lights around it and whatnot, because I don't think these two tail lights are necessarily going to do the job. It does have a tail light down here. Um, you know, but Either way, I'm quite happy with it. And I'll stitch in some, some videos of me riding and whatnot and, you know, during all this. And, you know, let me know what you think. And uh, I'm definitely going to try to make some more content with it. I'm going to try to go on a road trip with it reasonably soon. Probably not, probably not till the end of the summer, but reasonably soon. My friend, I got a friend that lives down in Georgia. And he wants to go practice with Robert Simmons. And I think I'd like to do that myself, but I've got to get these bars changed before I do it because there's no way I can do a full lock. I can do a U-turn on this bike easy enough, but I can't do a full lock because, you know, I can't get my leg out of the way for that. So that's another thing with the new CVO is they've, you know, they've changed the handlebars up to where they're a lot narrower and taller, which makes better sense for these. I don't know why they ever put these on here because that you can see that just doesn't make a lot of sense so um i don't know i might i might change the mirrors up i'm not sure about that but i'm definitely going to do the handlebars and that's about it so let me know in the comments what you think and uh we'll see you in the next video you have a good have a good day